Telegram and Instagram, and today we're going to talk about calibrating the probes on a GHL Profilux 4. Let's get into it. The cool thing about the Profilux 4 is all of the calibrations are performed via the front panel on the controller itself. You go into the uh, probe settings. Here I'm selecting conductivity, which is the salinity probe. I'm going to work the panel down to calibration. And the calibration tolerance is usually 1. And using 50 microsiemen salinity solution, we'll get that probe calibrated. Something I wasn't expecting with the P4 was the ability to utilize an external thermometer to measure the temperature of the calibration fluid. Temperature is important when calibrating salinity. So you could either use an external thermometer like I did, or you can use the P4's thermometer to measure the fluid prior to calibration. For me, it was just nice not to have to use the controller's temperature probe. And after you have the temperature, the next step is to hang the probe in the air to get a baseline zero value. After that, you put it in the 50 microsiemen calibration fluid. I've of course sped up this countdown timer. Save the settings, the calibration is complete. You can rinse off the probe and some Rody. Verify the solidity using the GHL app at 1.0242 and the front panel also displays the same. Right there. Done. The probe can now be placed in the tank. Now let's take a look at calibrating the pH probe. This probe's calibration is performed in basically the same manner except it's calibrated at two separate points. One is 7.0 and the other is 9.0. I always rinse the probes in Rody prior to dropping them in calibration fluid, flick it off a little bit to make sure there's no rhodi on there, and drop it in the 7.0 fluid. Let's sit for a little bit. Start the countdown timer. And it's got the calibration. Next up is 9.0. I rinse it in a little bit of rhodi again, just to make sure you get that 7 fluid off of there. Pull the probe, flick it off, drop it in the 9. Start it up again. Off we go. Countdown timer. Sped up, of course, because it would be really boring to watch that real time. Calibration is done. Let's save the settings. And we're done. You can put the probe in the tank after you rinse it off. And last up, ORP. This one is totally the same, but a little different. <laughs> this one utilizes a null plug that it's similar to salinity, but instead of hanging the probe, you have to connect this little null plug, that little thing right there in my hand. You have to be able to access the back of the Profilux 4. Hopefully you haven't connected the Redux probe, but if you have, you have to disconnect that probe and attach the null plug. With that done, you can start the first round of calibration with the null plug attached. Countdown timer's done, so remove the null plug from the back of the P4, attach the Redux probe, the ORP probe, rinse the probe in Rody, make sure you shake it off, make sure there's no water on there, place the probe in the calibration fluid, and start that timer back up. Once the calibration is complete, save the settings as you have with the other two probes and you're all set. Be sure to rinse that probe off again, just like you did with the others. Drop that sucker in the roadie and swish it around a little bit and you're all set. All done. We've got the probes calibrated, we got them back in the tank, and everything's reading as it should. Regarding recalibration, you don't necessarily have to do it all that often, but you may want to verify that the probes are reading accurately. The little packets, the little calibration packets that you can buy from Bulk Reef Supply or other, or other providers, they're relatively inexpensive. They're actually really cheap. Just look them up and you'll see what I'm talking about. So maybe you want to get a, a pH of 9. Maybe you want to get 
salinity, maybe you want to get ORP packets, and just occasionally take the probes out of the tank, put them in the packet, and see how close the probe is reading to the calibration fluid. If everything's cool, you're good to go, you don't need to recalibrate. If it's getting a little off, up to you, you make that decision. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with the value, recalibrate. You saw the process, it's relatively easy. It just takes a little bit of time. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit me up with any questions, comments, please, anything you'd like to see. And happy reefing. Be kind, everyone. Thanks.